I think there's too much made of correspondence between the arts and the sciences. Yes, they're both acts of creativity. Engineers are not exactly artists, let me put it that way. And so engineering work is, proceeds on one level where artists are doing something else. But the principle that when you're trying to solve a problem, especially trajectory type problems, there's a tendency to, to, to think yourself into a hole or to, or to get to a point where you're just thinking the same thing over and over again. And if you don't have some kind of a distraction to, 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 to reset your brain, you, 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 you just don't make any progress. And it takes about a, an hour's worth of thinking before you realize you're not getting anywhere anymore. So then you have to take a break. And, go, and, and, and uh, I, I don't think it really matters what you do, as long as it involves some, 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 kind, of, some kind of problem solving. Like painting, it would be a good thing to do. Uh, me, I just go drink a cup of coffee and start up a conversation with somebody and then talk with, for, with them for an hour, at company expense, of course. But at the end of the day, the scientist has to respond to the forces of nature. The scientist can't just come up with anything and declare that it be true, because nature is the ultimate arbiter. The artist starts with an empty canvas, empty, except for the geometric shape that it is. That's, that's your only constraint. That's not even a constraint. Go get another canvas if you don't like those dimensions. If Van Gogh did not paint Starry Night, no one was going to paint Starry Night. If Einstein didn't discover relativity, somebody else would have found relativity. Relativity is not some invention of Einstein that no one else could have found.